Hi, Floss Tubers. I'm Dottie, uh, aka Stitching Scotty from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I just want to welcome you to my channel, especially if you're a new subscriber. And boy, did my numbers jump up this week. I hit over 100, and to me, that's a big, big accomplishment. So because of that, and because I'm so excited, I'm going to have a giveaway today. So stay tuned for that. And I just want to welcome all my new subscribers and all the sweet, sweet comments I've gotten. And um, I just am trying to change up and, and get some more purpose to my videos. So if you've watched me before and you haven't been very impressed, which I'm sorry, but anyway, I'm still having a good time. But uh, I have lots of good stuff in store for you today. I have a lot of new freebies, uh, not freebies, but I have a lot of new uh, charts that you can see. And I have um, all the clubs and sales that I belong to. I'm going to show you what I'm working on with that. And I've got some past uh, fully finished objects, which is what an FFO is. I've got some whips, of course. I had a lot of whips. I did a lot of stitching. And a whip is a work in progress. Some of my works in progress are really in progress, let me tell you. And I've got some haul, not much, but you know, I have to have a little something. Really what I did was I just kind of strung it out from Christmas or previous things. It's not like I buy everything every week, because trust me, I do not. Uh, and then of course I have plans. So I want to uh, thank again all my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and all your sweet, sweet comments. Thank you so, so much. And I think today we're actually going to um, have a little extra stuff that you're not used to seeing. So that's a good thing. So anyway, first we're going to start with um, the uh, sales that I'm involved in. Um, I'm in the monthly Orny Sal on Instagram and Sambri Stitches puts that out or she started that. So I chose my ornament from the Just Cross Stitch uh, December issue and I did not work on that this week. But, well, I did. I worked on it three days. I'm working on Snowman's Treat. And uh, I'll just show you that. I just thought he was so cute drinking that cup of hot cocoa. I just had to have that. So, anyway, here's my progress. I finally got his head done and his cap done and his little ball on his cap. And I've started up here. I've still got the body to go, the scarf, and the cup of cocoa. Well, today's January the 25th. I have about six days. I better, like, get with it. And it's, I'm using 32 count from my stash and some Weeks Dye Works and some Classic Color Works. No, I'm not using Classic Color Works. I changed the Classic Color Works Toasted Marshmallow to Ecru. Um, and the rest of it's just DMC. So I'm enjoying that. But you can tell that I use Sky here in the hat, the cap. So there he is. I need to do his nose. He looks like a zombie snowman. <laughs> so anyway, but anyway, this is a great issue. And I noticed something in the back that I wanted to uh, show you. Okay, for people, you know, it's it's that time of year to snow. Look at these beautiful snowflakes. Um, I would bet that Sullivan's uh, fibers or, well, it says mynotions.com, um, that they either have these patterns for purchase or, you know, maybe it happens to be a freebie. I meant to look that up and I forgot. But I saw that and I thought, oh, I just got to mention that. So I love, love, love when my mail comes and that's in it or I buy my magazine at the shop. Okay, next I am in Whipgo. I've been doing that this month. And because I work on computers a lot and I do a lot of Zoom as a piano teacher, I did not want to get on the computer again and make me a bingo card. So here's my homemade bingo card, even in pencil, so I could erase it. But I promise I'm not erasing anything off of it. So they called two numbers this month. And one of the numbers they called was this project. It's from Bright Needle. And this it was a kit when I bought it, and it included the, the fibers, 
which came from Old Willow Stitchery and DMC. There was a couple of those. And the cloth is 32 count R&R &R Reproductions antique cotton linen. And this is the only one I didn't iron. I'm so sorry. Or maybe, no, there might be two. The snowman and this one. After that, I went over to my iron and I unplugged it. And I was like, oh, I'm so done. So anyway, um, my goal where I started, I had these two blocks done. My goal was to do three more blocks. It took me forever to do this ghost block. Look how translucent the fibers are. You know, you couldn't hardly see. And it's one over one on 32 count. So over this weekend, I did the um, two black cats. Not once, but twice. Because one of his tail, when I got to the end of the second black cat, his tail hit the side of the border. So I had to take both of them out all the way to the other tail where the mistake was. Mm, I was so not happy. And Frankenstein, though, he was so cute. It says run. <laughs> yeah, if I saw him, I'd be running too. But this was really a lot of fun to do um, after I finished ripping out. So I finished my goal because my goal was to complete three squares. There's a total of nine squares, as you can tell. See what I just pick up. So I have now gotten one of my blocks off the whip go board covered up. So that is a good, good thing. All right. Next, <clears throat> and here's my messy thread. See? Yep, messy. Okay. But anyway, that's going to go to the side for a while because I am cross eyed. Okay. Next. My other one, I could not believe they were both Halloween. <laughs> Does this not look too cute? This was at a retreat at Panda's Crossing many years ago. And there's his, the little jack-o'-lantern. Everything, this is a tiny pumpkin each you. And I guess I'm saying that right or not. And this is what it looks like. I had the scissor fob finished. Oops. I had the scissor fob finished, okay? But I did not even have, no, that was, yeah. I did not even have the pin cushion started. So I started it, no, I did. I had the two birds on there. I started it and I finished it. Now you can tell how old this is because it says 2010. I decided to leave that in as a good reminder that you should not leave your whips lying around that long. <laughs> But anyway, I got that all finished, and um, there's this one right side up. And that was on 32 count um, linen. I don't remember the color. I want to say it's ivory. And it used all DMC floss. So, I've got the pumpkin to finish, and that will be done. But my goal was to finish one item, and I did. Yay! So, that covered up two blocks on my whip go board. So, I'm now going to color them in. And my goal is to try my best. She calls out the numbers on the 27th. And speaking of she, I better tell who she is. Jessie Marie Does Stuff is, is our admin for this group. She draws the two numbers every month. And you pick your, um, well, you pre-write your sales on here. Let's say she picked one and three. I would do the uh, Nativity Row and Baby It's Cold Outside because those are on my whip list. So, but she's not picked that, so don't, don't think that. But anyway, I've got two done. Now, when I get five in a row or four corners or diagonally or across, up and down, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to get myself, but it's going to be something good, but I haven't decided yet. So, when I know, I will let you know. I'm just still thinking about it. All right, then, um... Oh, yeah, the Tiny Pumpkin H.U. was from Praiseworthy Stitches. I forgot to tell that. Um, and that was a limited edition pattern. But I told 
on my whip go video that you could go to a certain website and get that and i don't remember right off the top of my head um let me see nothing like being prepared is it oh goodness um well i don't remember but anyway um i'll try to link it below if i can i've actually learned how to do that yay slow going i'm telling you okay so anyway um then i also am doing the holy night sal okay um i'm doing that with deanna half stitch cross stitch um she and i are doing that together and it's a shepherd's bush pattern and i just think this is so pretty and those of you who are on instagram you can sense my frustration i had this whole town of bethlehem all done well, I got ready to do the bottom part where the grass was, and guess what? It was wrong. I was off a stitch. So I had to rip every bit of Bethlehem out, because where was my mistake? Of course, it was at the top. So I went ahead and ripped that out. That took a while, and I put it back in, and I'm now caught up to where I was before. So we're ready to start making more progress again. Deanna's way ahead of me, but that's okay. I'm still having fun. But this is Bethlehem again, and I'm so excited. And you see my three little sheep? I did those with Alpaca, the Rainbow Gallery, Petite Rainbow Gallery, and I used one strand. I tried it with two, but they were very puffy. So I was like, oh, we better not be doing that. Because it said to use three strands for the for the floss, because this is 19 count cork linen. And it's summer khaki. And it uses crescent colors, which is what they were called when this pattern came out. So that's classic color works for those newbies that have not been stitching long. It also had sampler threads and week style works and the Rainbow Gallery Petite Alpaca. And I know when I first started stitching, I'm like, where are they getting these Rainbow Gallery threads? Where are they getting this? Because at the time, my cross stitch shop a long time ago, neither shop I went to had either thing. So I went to a needlepoint shop and I found them there. But now our needlework shop is closed. Um, it's been closed a long time, but now we have another needlework shop, and I don't know if they have it or not because I don't do much needlepoint anymore. But anyway, I have found that if you go on Stony Creek, they do have um, all those specialty threads. They have a whole big line. You know, the people that put out Stony Creek Magazine. So it's stonycreek.com. And they really, really um, have a nice selection. And they ship fairly quick. So, and their shipping is not too expensive. But anyway, I'm looking forward to doing some more on that one. Um, for some reason, I still want to do Christmas stitching. I don't know what's up with that. But <clears throat> I do need more Christmas because I have way lots of Halloween. Yes. All right. And then, if you want to join our Holy Night Sal, just put hashtag Holy Night S-A-L Sal. And... That's on Instagram. All right. I'm also doing the Country Cottage Needleworks January. Well, it's a monthly sampler sale. And that sale is with Pandas Crossing. And I also signed up with Annabelle's. But I ordered the, the pattern for my local needlework shop because I wanted my local needlework shop to stay in business. But this is the first pattern, and I know y'all have seen this, like, everywhere. Okay, they put it on the beautiful beige, which is supposed to be the color of the year. Well, I looked at that, and I'm just like, uh, I just don't know if I like that or not. So, I thought, you know, the little snowman, he looks like he's stuck on the beach somewhere. And that's nothing against anybody that's got their little snowman on the beautiful beige, or whatever color you've got it on, because everybody has their own preferences. So I had this in my stash. It was a piece of fabric. Um, it's 32 count, and it was a piece of, no, it's not. It's 28 count. I should know better than to say 32 count. But it's 28 count, and it's a blue. 
And of course, I just gave it a leak and a promise when I ironed it so you can still see the embroidery hit marks. But doesn't the white show up on it really well? And it just looks like a frosty, frosty day. And that just made me happy. And since I'm not a big proponent of white stitching, stitching with white, I went ahead and thought I'd start with that. And on this one, um, I probably won't get done by the end of the month unless I just have a stitch-a-thon or something. But you never can tell. But um, I'm going to, oh, and I forgot. I'm going to change my house color and the blue lines to a darker blue. And that would be blue jeans from, mm, it is, yeah. Old blue jeans and it's classic color works. That's going to be the house and trim. It was supposed to be really tealy from Classic Color Works or 598 DMC, but I didn't like either one of those colors because they did not show up on my piece. In fact, the tealy kind of clashed. So I thought, well, we'll do this, and that's going to blend in quite well. So that's going to be um, something that I hope does not end up to the side because I really would like to keep up with these these different uh, sales. <clears throat> then the next sale I'm doing from Pandas Crossing. This one's been going on for quite a while and I'm really glad. That was the only good thing about COVID was <laughs> it gave me a little time to get caught up on this one. Uh, this one is called Stitching Buddy by Filigree. And I just love the little dog. And we're gonna, it's a gonna be a finishing class when we ever get back together. And it may, I don't think it's going to be a Zoom class, but we're going to put this on a little box or book kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to that. And all these patterns, they're 143 by 100 stitch count. She has like a whole variety. She had one with uh, butterflies and, or maybe it was a dragonfly. It was something fly. And, <laughs> and of course, my girlfriend has already finished hers months ahead of time. I think I just barely had my cloth picked out by the time she had hers finished. But that's okay. I still have fun doing it. And I'm using uh, all the Call 4 threads. And I'm using Gentle Arts. And here is, oh dear, and here's my progress. And you see, I just gave it a lick and a promise with the iron, just enough to get the worst out. I did not get much done. I'm, I stitched the bone and this other with wood smoke. Now, I did change something. I lied. I did. And it was really, 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 really dark. So, it was not supposed to be dark. And I took it out and put in 841 DMC. Because the wood smoke was like a dark, dark brown on uh, General Arts. And I was like, oh, this is not going to work. So, um, I don't lack much. Most all I did, though, was with around the thread and the bone. And I started the paw up here. And that's really all I got done. Because this was my last thing to do this weekend. And I fell asleep. So, <clears throat> I sleep a lot with my needle and my hoop in my hand. Because I stitch with a hoop. And I'm a lefty also. Which makes it interesting. And, of course, I keep my thread because my name is Stitch and Scotty in my beautiful bag, zippered bag, that Mary Flanagan made me. She is just awesome. She is such a wonderful seamstress. I really, really love her stuff. All right, then, um, I did the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch this, this weekend. Uh, it's the second weekend of every month. And it's a Facebook group, and it's put out by, oh dear, I forgot. Um, yeah, it is. I'm so sorry. I apologize to the admin. Uh, your name has just, <sighs> oh, I do know. It's Jessie Marie Does Stuff, and she just had a baby. I had it written on the side, didn't see it, but I was drawing a blank. And, no, it's not Jessie Marie Does Stuff. That was the whip go. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, anyway, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but I worked on my, my uh, stitching buddy, the one I just showed you. And now, 
I also worked, that's when I did the spooky Halloween that I showed you, you know, my whip go piece. And I also worked on Two Shall Become One by Lizzie Kate. You knew there was going to be a Lizzie Kate. I never knew I had so much Lizzie Kate until I started doing this. And this is an oldie but a goodie. I've had this one for a long time, as you can tell. And my son and his wife, they have like a, hell, a home in the mountains in, uh, of Western North Carolina. And their anniversary is coming up, my oldest son. So I thought I would make this for him because I've not made them a wedding sampler. And their sisters have one. And they do not. So I was feeling kind of bad. So I looked through my stash and I found this 28 count Cashel almond or toast almond. I had bought this at a friend's yard sale. She was clearing out and this was like years and years and years ago. Um, and I just kept looking at it and I thought, eh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. And this is the progress I had made. And, of course, it got a lick and a promise, too. So, you can still see the embroidery hit mark. But I did that on the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch weekend. And it uses, um, this is 28 count, like I said, um, toast almond. And I used two threads over two. And for the Blue Jay, on sample, it uses sampler threads, General Arts. I substituted DMC 322, and for the evergreen, I just didn't like that color for these trees. I just, I wasn't real thrilled about the house, but I'd stitched so much, I left it. But these trees, they were like a very light green, which I didn't think was a good evergreen color. So, I found DMC 987, and I used that. So, so far, that's all I've substituted. There may be more. I do not know. But that dark brown and this house, see, look at how light that house is. I know the pictures aren't good. Look how dark that house is. But they're stuck with it because I am not taking that out. I've taken out way too much lately, and that's just not going to be happening. But this has to be done and framed by March. So we'll see if we can do that. So that's going to be a priority. All right, next... Um, that did it for the 24 hours, hours of cross stitch. And I actually did 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, I did not do 24 hours in a row because I'm not in, well, I'm not saying anybody that does it is insane. But for me, it would be insane because everything would be crooked, stitched wrong, and I would be off and it would look like it. So that's why I did not do that. Um, I did team sleep is what they call it. So I stitched some on Friday. I went to bed. I got up on Saturday, did a few things, stitched some on Saturday, went to bed, got up on Sunday, went to church. Well, I didn't go to church, but I did on online, but you know what I mean. And after church, I stitched a bit with friends that came to my house. And we had taco soup. It was very, very good. And key lime pie. Thank you, Dolores and Susie. Y'all are the bomb. But anyway, um... I just wanted to, um, you know, sit and stitch. So we did that the rest of the day, and that was fun. That's why I didn't make my video yesterday, because I was doing 24 hours of cross stitch. And I was on a stitch, you know, frenzy. And that was a good thing. All right, then I also, I tell you, the staying at home, <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard on your pocketbook. <laughs> because you see things, and you're like, oh. Oh, I want to do that. So all you do is go to your computer and you go click, click, click. Oh, yeah, we'll put it on that. Yeah, oh, use PayPal. Oh, yeah. So I found, um, I did it last time, but I didn't do very much. So that's why I didn't show it. But I, I did the Stitching Book Club, uh, Dickens of a Christmas, and it was not even enough to bother showing. But this time I've signed up for Sense and Sensibility, the Jane Austen book, because my youngest daughter loves Jane Austen. And it's been a long time since I've read that one. So I thought I would read that. And then today I went to the piano store, and I, the music store, and I bought the, the soundtrack music for 
piano music for Pride and Prejudice. I am so excited to get to start playing that. Um, but anyway, getting back to Sense and Sensibility, the, um, the lady that does it, she has an Etsy shop. Her name is Kristen Ashley, and she's Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts on Etsy. So if you want to join, uh, you um, you have to agree to the rules. You also and they're, you know, just be kind, be courteous, don't spoil it for everybody else. If you've read the book, and you do have like I think a Facebook, um, yeah, book discussion. She also this one the next uh, oh wait I better finish that too I'm skipping ahead. But it starts, she sends out the emails, and it's got the pattern. Um, this one's the spring stitching thing. And it starts on release day is February 13th through March 5th. Um, we, we read and we stitch. So you read the book and you stitch. And then there's part two, and you read new stitch, and part three, and you read new stitch. And she sends the list out of what you need to have. You can use your materials, or you can buy kits. Now, I will say, she does have a limited amount of kits available. I usually use what's in my stash, and she has two colorways that you can use. Um, you know, if you use her color fabric, or you use the other color fabric, which I'm not going to say, because it's not my business to say. But, um... Just go on um, Instagram at Stitching Book Club or, um, you know, and, and read about it. Or you can go to Etsy and you can look at the um, description about it. And Facebook is for the monthly book discussions. And um, it's just, you know, like stitch at your own pace kind of sal um, till the discussion. Okay. So anyway, we'll, I'll be able to show my progress, hopefully next month okay so now we're gonna go on to past FFOs now a FFO is a fully or finally finished object in my case I say finally finished because it's like holy cow am I ever gonna finish this but these are uh, things that I finished last summer or maybe you know a little bit before that and because Valentine's Day is coming up I thought I would show this and just because everybody else is showing all these Valentine things. And I'm like, oh, I haven't showed anything. But Heart and Hand puts out a, a um, yeah, Heart and Hand puts out a pattern. And it's called Valentine Bird. I had to look. And this is my finish. And it's one of those where I had the framer. I had this framed at Rock Hill. And I said, put little things that I can bend back. So I can pop the different birds in and out. I have all the patterns for all the birds except for the farmhouse bird. I may have the quilting bird. I'm not sure if I do or not. Mm, don't remember. I'll have to look. But they're all together. Some of these are finished and some are not. So, But I just thought he was so cute. The pattern comes with the little button. Or at least mine did. And it was a very, very quick stitch. But that bird has the longest legs. And the, the string is a bunch of little short back stitches, you know, that kind of meanders around down to the heart. And I just thought that was just too, too cute. And it, he, was, he was fun and he was easy. And for his eye, he has a Smyrna stitch. I think that's it. It's either a Smyrna or Algerian eye. It's been a, quite a while, so I can't remember. And, of course, this was before I dated things. Hmm, Yeah. So that's one finish, and that will get us, you know, like in the in the mood. And I love this frame. See those little knobby things? It was just really pretty. All right, and next <clears throat> from Little House Needleworks, I have fresh from the garden because people are talking about spring also. I did not do this one, but that is on my list of things I would like to do. But I did the needle book. And I've also got the little pin cushion. I got the little finishing kit. Here's the little tomato pin cushion. I'll hold it like this. You can see it. I did not make that. I purchased it. And the needle book. 
okay? And it's got a little yo-yo in here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the yo-yo was already made because I hate, hate, hate making yo-yos. Mm. Just not a yo-yo fan. Sorry for yo-yo lovers. But you know, that's how it is. If we all like the same thing, it would be boring. But this is called the Stitch and Time, T-H-Y-M-E. And it's got the little tomato. And my needles are a little wonky because um, they're long stitches. At least this one is. That's what the needle looks like when I finish using it. <laughs> and I'm all tensed up. But anyway, I just thought that was just so cute. And it's done on... 28 count. Yes, it is. I forgot to do this right quick. So listen for a little rattling. Sorry about that. Uh, it's done. On, no, it's not done on 28 count. It's done on 30 count straw. And I did write that down uh, from Weeks Dye Works. So my linen was a little limp because Weeks Dye Works linen is very limp. So I had to, had to, had to use my hoop. I had to. And it used Crescent Colors, which are now Classic Color Works because it's, it was made in 2011. Or this pattern was put out then. And when I finished, like the whole needle book just looked like this. So when I finished, I just turned it. I put a piece of, um, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, Oh, darn. Interfacing. Yes. Okay. I put a piece of interfacing on the back. I ironed it on. And then I just turned it under to kind of give it a little substance. And I just did needle turn applique. And just kind of whip stitched it right on there. And it's, you know, I was, I was pretty happy with this. And I really enjoyed doing this. So I want to do the other picture. Um, I just thought it was so pretty because it says... Garden Fresh, Artichoke, Broccoli, Cabbage, and it's got the alphabet. Then it says, let, or part of the alphabet. Well, no, it has all the alphabet. And it says lettuce, and then M and O, parsley, Q, and then radish, spinach, and then the rest of the alphabet. So, you can see that. Alright, and I did go online to see if you could still purchase this pattern, and yes, you can. And it said that the tomato pin cushion and the needle book you bought separate because this was a kit. It had the floss and the material, if I'm not mistaken, with it when I bought it. But now I do not know if they do it as a kit or not. But this came from the Nashville 2011 Needlework Show. So, <clears throat> all right, then... I have one FFO. Yay! And this one's been laying around because I've really been dreading. I used to be a beater for a short while. And, you know, there's some things it's like, no, you know, this is just not for me. Um, and I know why now. Uh, after today, it was like, mm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So, anyway, um... From Praiseworthy Stitches, I did Let It Snow, and I made the little scissor fob. I'm going to hold it up. Well, oh, goodness. That's the problem about being left-handed. There you go. Okay, and it came in this little box. And this is my scissor fob. Well, there you go. Okay. The little snowman and the little beads and everything. And, um... That took me an hour <laughs> because I threaded the needle. That was the real pain. I used wax dental floss, like it said. And, you know, it's hard to thread a beading needle with dental floss. I used a threader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then when I had to stick my needle through the pillow, it wasn't long enough. So I got a big, long needle. It was called... It was from Clover Needles. I got those. And by the time I finished, it was a little bent because I was very irritated. But I did um, get that done, and it's going to be a while before I do another scissor fob. This is from Praiseworthy Stitches. It was on 32 count. Um, it was a kit, like I said, 32 count. I am so bad about not telling what 
material stuff is on. I just get so excited about it. I'm just like, yay! Um, it was on 30 count, not 32, but 30 count green linen. And it was only 27 by 29, so I stitched it up in like an hour. And it used DMC flosses, and it did have some French knots for the, yeah, it did, mouth. And the only specialty stitch it had was the Smyrna Cross and then the Snowflake. And that was it. So, and they said Snowflake stitch, but it, it was just a bunch of long and short stitches, in my opinion. Hmm. Nothing, you know, no pattern per se. And everything came in this teeny tiny little box. So, now I'm a happy girl. I can have a winter scissor fob instead of my little witchy shoes that I've been using for a while. Okay, and that's all my FFOs and past FFOs I'm going to show this week. Now, let's talk about new stuff. And if this doesn't work, there won't be any new stuff in this video because I'm really worried about how I'm going to get the pictures in. But hopefully we'll get this done. Okay, first of all, I want to show you a pattern that is on my list. It's from Cottage Garden Samplings, and it's called It's Snow Time. It's Snow Time, a Time for All Seasons Series One. It's a series, and there's the snowman. Is he just not the cutest little thing? He kind of reminds me of Teresa Cogart patterns with a little star and everything. But it's Cottage Garden Samplings, and it's got the two cardinals, and I love the scarf. Well, you know. Um, oh dear, where's the next one? Oh, here it is. Okay. Or not. Okay. And they just came out with a time for all seasons, number two, and it's called Love is in the Air. Isn't that cute? It's got the two turtle doves and they're in love. So that's one that's going to be on my wish list also. It's, it's Valentine-y without being goopy. Like Cupid, you know, I like Cupid, don't get me wrong, but it's something different, so that's good. And then, um, we have, yes, we do. We had, I watched Kathy, I don't know if it's Haberman or Haberman, I don't know. But anyway, she's with Hands-On Design. And I watched her floss tube the other day, and or the other night, and it, they always do theirs when they're cooking. And um, they were having quesadillas, and they always make me hungry when they're cooking. But anyway, she showed a lot of cute things. And she showed... First frost. Okay. Now, I looked at those two things and I was like, what in the world? Those are snowmen. It's what she said. And she put the trim on them and got the little village and everything. And I thought those were just too cute. And she put a little greenery around them so you could kind of get the idea. But first frost. Then she had, and I just thought this was just too cute. It's called With This Needle. And it's for your, it's not like a needle, it's a needle book, but it's to put your packs of needles in. And it even had the little finishing kit. Uh, they have a finishing kit. I don't know if it's separate or together. I can't really remember, but I just thought that was just precious. And it has the two needles that keep it closed and the little lobster, well, no, it's got everything but the lobster clasp. I do remember that. No lobster class. But like if you're using what I'm going to try this week, the Easy Glide ball tip, the ballpoint needles, I'm going to try those this week. I got these at Pandas Crossing, my local needle workshop, my closest local needle workshop. I'm sure the other ones carry it. But this one, I got the size 24. So we shall see what I think about this and I will let you know. Uh, but anyway, you could put like the little pack in there or maybe some Pat Carson needles or the bone, bowen. I don't know how to say it. It's B-O-H-N, mm. but I love those needles. Um, you could do that. 
And then the next thing they had was just too cute. I've got to do this for my daughter. It's hop on in. Now, what was really good about this one, and look at the cute little buttons at the bottom. Hop. Hashtag hop. Um, the threads that it uses are sulky threads, and she pointed out that it's the same threads that you used with her chocolate bunny pattern. You know, you remember the chocolate bunny pattern that came out a year or so ago, maybe two years? I guess it was two years ago. And so she said she knew you'd have uh, um, leftover thread and people were asking, well, what can we use with these sulky threads? Because we got these big spools of thread and we don't know what to use. And so anyway, that's what she did. So that was good. All right, next, um, I usually don't do, oh dear, yeah, there it is, okay, oops. I usually don't do a lot of samplers. Um, if I do, they're not like traditional old-timey samplers yet. I just haven't gotten there yet. I'm kind of like Stacy at 911 Stitcher. Um, I'm more like for the quick fix, you know, I'm, I'm like a, I'm not the, I like the progress and the process and everything, but what I like is the finished product, so I can go on and start something new, but I saw this one, and I really like the words, it says, little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make our earth and Eden like the heaven above, and I thought this was very pretty, and this is from Scarlet House, um, and it's called the Little Deeds Sampler. But I did. I just thought that was just beautiful. So that is something that um, I was really looking forward to maybe getting. If I get a sampler, I might do this one. But now this one is in a series. And I must have missed... Because it says new release three is called No Place Like Home. Is that not just the most darling pillow? Look at the little dog and it's got that cute little heart. Right up. Oh dear. Sorry. Nothing like messing up. It's got the cute little heart. Um, you know, and the rick rack and everything. I just think that's just adorable. So, and the bird. But I guess we're probably... Uh, getting tired of no place like home. Yeah. But my name's Dorothy. So my official name is Dorothy. So, you know, I click my heels and there's no place like home and home I go. <laughs> uh, that was corny. Uh, next, uh, we have Summer House Stitch Works. And as you remember, I went to a Zoom retreat with her at Sassy Jack Stitchery. I'm just really doing a lot of name dropping today, aren't I? And, dread. um, okay, and she did the Thanksgiving Zoom retreat, and you can see that in my second video, um, but Beth was on the Zoom, and she showed us how to do some things, and I saw this, and I just was like, oh, gotta have it, or not this, but I meant the what she showed us, and you'll love it when it does finally come out. But I saw this, and I thought, oh, this is kind of cute. I have a lot of friends that they love the beach, and it's got a little mermaid tail coming out of a shell. It's called Tales from the Sea, and this is number one. And it's called Remnants in Time Series 2021, Tales from the Sea. So that's one of hers. And then there's number two is already out. And it says, hop on board and sail along because they've got like a little ship for number two. And I don't know why it's called a pink, unless it's got a pink sail, sails. But that was really cute. And it's got that chenille trim from Lady Dots around it. Just real cute. Nice little small to go in a dough bowl. So I thought, well, that would be cute. Then she had this one and I'm like, ooh, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. And she introduced this on Martin Luther King Day. And this one is called Respond with Love. 
is that not just too precious? And we sure do need to do that these days because people are not. I just don't know why people want to kill happiness. And that's all I'm going to say. All right. And moving right along. Um, oh, yes. And then I saw something else. Er, Okay. And it's from Nope. Well, hmm. Maybe this is where I need to play lots of music. <sighs> well, we won't be doing that one today. Um, maybe we will. No, we will not. Okay. Anyway, one of the places that I want to go is the attic in Mesa, Arizona. And it's a cross-stitch shop. And one of my piano students, believe it or not, lives in Mesa, Arizona. So maybe I should go out there and visit them. And have a road trip to the attic. That would be just great. Um, and she has this chart that I'm trying to find and cannot. Um, but anyway, it's a Christmas red chart. If I can find it, I will insert the picture here. If I'm a good editor. Um, and it's it's called Red Christmas. And it looks like a Quakery kind of thing. Um, but it's by Jardin Privé. And it's um, really, really a great, great uh, piece. I just love spell check. I do. And I cannot find it, so I'm sorry. But anyway, and then they also have a special um, December, January sampler of the month at the attic. And she's just put it on her website. And it's called Plymouth Colony. And it's very, very nice. She was going to introduce it in December on the 21st, which is Forefathers Day. Because that's when the... Um, Mayflower landed um, after the 66-day voyage. But it, she put the history with it, and it was just really, really exciting to see um, and read about. Um, and I wanted to get a picture of that, but evidently I'm not doing too good with that either. Nope, we're not doing that. Okay. So, maybe I can get that and insert another picture here. If you don't see a picture, that means I didn't insert very well. Okay. I'll try to improve that. Sorry, folks. All right. Last, we have haul. Okay. Yet another name dropping. Another, I guess I would put, I would call this a KCLNS. Hmm. I've just made a new, uh, name. Anyway, this came, it's in a red bag, and it's from Fire Poppies in Somerville, South Carolina, which is three hours away from me. But Susan and her bunch are just really, really sweet. But my girlfriend had this. She showed it to me, and I was like, you didn't get me one? Hmm. So, she was on the list until she ordered one, and look at this. Is that just not the cutest little hanger you've ever seen? And you know how much I love Halloween. So, I have got to, got to, got to do something with that. But you know what? She ate the Charleston Chew that Susan always sends out with the package. Now, hmm, what is up with that? 
Now, I'm not really a fan of Charleston Chew, but I would have liked to say, you know, where's my Charleston Chew? But I was very polite. But she'll be watching this video, so she's just going to be laughing her head off. But don't bring me a Charleston Chew, honey, because I won't eat it probably. But it was really good. But anyway, this is a bell pull fixture, which is not out. So we'll have to see what I use that for. Just love fire poppies, though. And they have very, very quick service. All right, next at Panda's Crossing, I bought Be Like a Crow. This is from Erica Michaels. Now, I'm not real big on the strawberry, but I love this picture. Just love it. And it says, collect shiny things, be like a crow. Collect shiny things, hop happily down the street for no apparent reason. <laughs> and scream loudly when you see your friends. That would be me. <laughs> and of course, after being quarantined for so long, who wouldn't scream loudly when they saw their friends? It'd be like, ah, get away from me. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but anyway, oh, you can tell I am just a nut. But I have a good time, you know. It's like go with gusto. That's that's the thing to do. Then another name dropping. I hope the Sunshine Stitchers are listening, especially Gary and uh, his partner in crime. Uh, I bought Halloween Quaker from them. Because, every, oh goodness, everybody showed it and it's like, oh goodness, I've got to have that. It's a Lila Studio pattern. And this is definitely going to be on my October stitching or maybe even earlier than that. And I just love the little black cat, Biscornu. And people that are my friends are going to go, it's got cats on it. You can't do that. You don't like cats. Black cats are different. They're just part of Halloween. But anyway, it's done on 40 Count Murky, which I just happened to have bought at Fire Poppies when I was in Somerville. Yes. So I was so excited about that because I'd been looking for the Murky for quite some time. I bought the Murky before I bought the pattern. That's how bad I wanted the pattern. And then Fat Quarter Shop, another name dropping, sent me my number seven of 12 from the Prim Stitch Series, Faith and Endurance. And is that not just the cutest little chapel? I love it. With the little flowers and the bluebird and the little quilt. Yeah, that's a quilt square. Yeah. So, this is going to be something from Lori Holt and, of Be and My Bonnet Company. This is a Lori Holt pattern, but I got it at Fat Quarter Shop. I'm on the automatic ship for that. Excuse me. <clears throat> ship <clears throat> for that. Excuse me. And I've got to keep that up. I've got the material. I'm going to do it on 30 count. And I think it's on prim, if I'm not mistaken. But that's my haul. Now, what am I going to do the next little bit? Well, I'm going to work on my monthly January ornament that I do not have finished. My little snowman with the cocoa. Um, I'm also going to work on my January sampler. And you know how I said I was not going to do any more scissor fobs? Well, I lied. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's my evil witch laugh. Um, anyway, Praiseworthy Stitches put out a sweetheart at you. So, guess what? I gotta make it. I've had this for about a year. No, two years. And I was like, oh, I gotta have this. Got this at Sassy Jack's Stitchery in Weaverville, North Carolina, which when I go camping um, is very close to where I grew up. Most of the time, although I'm a Virginia transplant, excuse me, um, in the mountains of Western North Carolina, just right outside Asheville. Boy, do they have some good restaurants on that street. Mm, oh, yes. But anyway, and there's a quilt shop right next door, Five Little Monkeys. It's a great shop. Uh, but anyway, I got this at Sassy Jack's, and it's got the little heart and all the little goodies, and there's beads in there. Mm. But... You know, I learned a lot of things again, or relearned a lot of things again while I was beading. It's called Read the Directions More Than One Time and Don't Read Them Fast. But that's what I'm planning on doing. And, um, oh, I just looked down and saw something I forgot to show you. I did have two mini finishes. Oh, my goodness. What is up with that? And I forgot to write it down. That's why I forgot to do it. Okay, during the 24 hours of cross-stitch, I worked on my square dance. You know, we've got January, February, and March. 
So when I was stitching, I <clears throat> uh, stitched this. Oh, it's been quite some time. Well, excuse me a minute, drop something. And I need it really bad. Oh, goodness, ouch. Mm. Sorry about that. <laughs> you know, this is a professional video, can you tell? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, everybody else has to have somebody else to laugh. I don't even need anybody to laugh. I can just laugh at myself. And if I laugh too much for you, I'm like Elizabeth Ann can stitch. I'm so sorry. Maybe you better go somewhere else because I'm just a happy, happy girl. But anyway, this is what I got. This is a mini finish and this is a mini finish. I said that this was a mini finish on Instagram and when I was ironing it, giving it the lick and the promise, you know, because I don't really, really iron until it gets finished. I noticed none of my birds had legs. <laughs> so anyway, if you'll notice, we have a bunch of legless birds, so I hope they're flying. But I'll, I couldn't understand why when I picked this back up, January was not there. February was not there. There was no border around February and March and part of the birds were not there. Those were all grapevine, the color. Now, this is done on 32 count. Um, <clears throat> oh, goodness. <laughs> 32 count vintage country mocha. And it's one of my favorites because it's on a big, long piece. And you notice, I just gave you a lick of a promise over here. I didn't touch it over here. <laughs> so... <laughs> Another reason, you know, maybe maybe this video is too long. Who knows? Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to do the border around it because I was going to do it all in one. And I'll probably gift this to one of my sweet, sweet children if they're nice to me. If they're not, I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> so anyway, um, I used uh, Classic Color Works and Weeks Dye Works. And I had to substitute, for Grapevine, I had to substitute 3031 DMC because I did not have any Grapevine. And that's why I quit doing it, because I didn't have it. So, <clears throat> that was part of my 24 hours of cross-stitch also, because I did get more than what I showed you. And I had that laying down in a different place and just didn't even think about it. So, um, I may work a little bit on this, but not until after the end of January, because I want to get my January items finished. And then February 1st, I'll probably start this. So, but I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed tonight, uh, today. Um, and I hope uh, those of you that came and subscribed, you don't unsubscribe just because I laughed a lot, because I just really have a good time. And oh, I almost forgot because I've never done it before. We're going to have a giveaway. Now, I looked through everything that I had bought two of, which, thank goodness, I don't have a lot of that. And I didn't have any Valentine's Day stuff that I had bought two of. But I love me some uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff. So I picked out two things that I had two of. And one of them is by Bent Creek. It's called Shamrock Road. So if you would like this one, these stitch up really, really quick. These rows do. And there's a whole bunch of them. And if you do them and either put them on like a board like um, Priscilla and Chelsea, or if you do them like on a flat fold, like Bonifie for the Twisted Stitcher, or you um, have them framed, you can just put the, you know, do the little pop-out things, you know, and... Uh, Pop them in and out as long as you do them on the same count and have them all about the same size. There's one that doesn't fit, you know, too close. But, you know, and it's it's just something really good over a doorway or, you know, something. But anyway, put the word shamrock if you want this one. All right, the next one, uh, it's a kit. And it's, it's a Buttons and Beads Spring Series Mill Hill Kit. And it's called Luck of the Irish. And it's got all the floss, the green perforated paper. And look at all those beads, Deborah. You just love beads. And it's got a big star button. I was being facetious. But anyway, <laughs> I like to make people laugh. Uh, put luck if um, you want um, luck of the Irish Mill Hill bead kit. So we've got luck of the Irish and shamrock. And the reason I like St. Patrick's Day so much is because I'm Scotch-Irish descent. 
So, and supposedly my family member researched it and I am a far, far away relative of Queen Mary of Scots. That part of the family changed their name and fled to America and they came to North Carolina and that's where my family came from, at least on my grandmother's side and settled there. So who knows, I may have one little millimeter or micro atom or molecule or something of royal blood. Who would even have thunk it? But anyway, that's my bragging. <laughs> but uh, I hope y'all enjoy my video today and I hope you laughed along with me because everybody needs a little happiness. They really do. And that's why I started watching Floss Tube. Floss Tube has just been fantastic for that. And I really, really have enjoyed it. And I'm going to mix things up a little bit every week just to kind of keep everybody guessing. And recommend me to other people. Please like and subscribe my video. If you don't like it, please tell me why. And, you know, maybe I'll correct it and maybe I won't. But you never know. But anyway, I look forward to seeing and hearing from y'all. And um, until next time, hopefully it'll be next weekend. Y'all have a wonderful week. Happy stitching. And just keep joy in your heart. Because we all need it. Bye-bye.